The IAEA has reached an agreement with Iran to resolve questions about possible undeclared nuclear material. The IAEA's Director General informed the organization's Board of Governors about this important development during their meeting this week. I had the honor uh, to be welcomed by President Rouhani, as you all know, and other officials in Tehran. And as I said, when I left uh, Vienna, I had two objectives in mind, which were um, fulfilled. The first was, of course, to solve the outstanding situation we had uh, concerning the access to, to locations and other verification activities. This was solved and, and also to establish a direct channel of communication uh, with the Iranian government at the highest levels to reinforce cooperation and enhance mutual trust. During his opening speech to the board, the Director General announced that the IAEA assistance mission is currently on the ground in Lebanon following the catastrophic explosion at the port of Beirut last month. We are conducting um, a very large mission in terms of um, nuclear security, checking places, scrapyards for uh, uh, possible presence of uh, radioactive material there, uh, also helping with non-destructive testing for the stability of buildings, uh, providing equipment. So again, an IEA that is close to everybody and it's putting nuclear technologies at the service of our countries. Mr. Grossi also spoke about the agency's commitment to fighting the COVID-19 pandemic. The IAEA has sent over 1,200 consignments of equipment for virus detection and other supplies to 123 countries. It's the uh, biggest operation of assistance in the history of this organization, and I think we should all, all be very proud of it. But this effort, of course, continues. 